and there it is 10.3.2 how is it going guys and welcome back to the hacks but <laughs> just kidding but anyways guys welcome back and now you are on ios 11 probably and many of you guys are asking how to downgrade from ios 11 back to ios 10 because iOS 11 is in beta right now. It might be too buggy for you or too slow. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do that. Now, although you can update to iOS 11 without a computer, to downgrade back to iOS 10, you will be needing a computer. So that is very unfortunate. Unfortunately, there's not a way to do it without a computer going back to iOS 10. But there is a plus because like with updating to iOS 10, you will keep all your data and apps, info, all that stuff will not be touched. So you can downgrade back to iOS 10 without losing any of this data. So that is completely awesome. All right, so Mac or PC, it doesn't matter. What you want to do is open up your internet browser. Once open, head over to this website. The link will be down below in the description is ipsw.me. And this is where we're going to be downloading iOS 10 so that we can downgrade. So select your device, the iPhone, iPad, iPod, whatever you have. I have the iPhone and I have the iPhone 7 model and it is GSM. If one doesn't work, try the other. So if you first try global and it doesn't work for your device, then try GSM and then it will work. So anyways, go ahead and click on it. And once you do, you'll be brought right here. So these are the signed IPSW. So right now you can downgrade to iOS 10.3.2 or 10.3.1. I'm going to be downgrading to 10.3.2. So I'm going to click on this one. And then there's the download button. Simple as that. And now we are downloading the IPSW. I'm going to save it to my desktop and let's go ahead and hit save. All right, now while we're waiting, let's go ahead and plug our device into our computer, simply just using a lightning cable, and make sure that you guys do have the latest and newest version of iTunes installed on your computer. That is important, and that is basically all that you need. So once it's done downloading, you can go ahead and close our internet browser. You won't be needing it anymore, so X out of here. And now let's go ahead and open up iTunes. So make sure that your device is trusted, and then your device should pop up inside iTunes. Go to click on your device, and once you're in your device right here, you guys can see that this device is running iOS 11.0, and we're going to be downgrading. So depending on which computer you have, Mac or Windows PC, it is a little bit different from here. So on Windows PC, you want to hold down the shift key and click on check for update. On Mac, you want to hold on the option key and click check for update. So I am on Mac, so I'm going to hold on the option key and click on check for update. So once you do, I'll bring this right here. Go ahead and select your IPSW. Again, mine's on my desktop. So I'm going to select it, hit open. And now it's going to click on update. Simple as that. And now it's going to extract the software and downgrade us back to iOS 10. Now, it might ask to enter the passcode on your iPhone. If so, go ahead and do that. And you might also need to disable Find My iPhone within Settings, iCloud, and at the very bottom, Find My iPhone. You might need to disable that too if it asks you to. But anyways, your device will reboot. Just don't touch it and everything will go fine. All right, so here we are. We're now verifying with Apple and waiting for it to downgrade. So this process takes about 50 to 20 minutes unless your computer is on Red Bull. But here is my device and as you can see, it's still loading, but on iTunes it's done. But I would recommend just keep your device plugged in until everything is set and done. So let's go to wait. All right, so guys, I've got bad news, and this is actually good because I can make you guys aware of it, but this does not have a 100% success rate. As you guys can see, my device is stuck at the Apple logo. If it stays over here for more than 30 minutes or longer, something is wrong. If the bar is very, very close to done and it gets stuck for more than 30 minutes, again, something is wrong. So guys, before you do anything with your device, make sure that you back up all their data, your apps, your photos, everything okay everything that you want make sure you back it up because something can go wrong and for that small chance of that happening it did happen but i'm going to be showing guys how to fix it real quick so on the iphone 7 you want to hold on the power and volume down buttons at the same time for 10 seconds i'll show you guys what to do from there but on other devices like the iphone 6s and below you want to hold on the power and home button so those two buttons on the iphone 6s and below and these two buttons on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So anyways, this is the iPhone 7, so I'm going to hold down both the volume down button and the power button at the same time for exactly 10 seconds. And again, on other devices, the power and home button. But again, 10 seconds. So here we go. 3, 2, 1. We're going to do this for exactly 10 seconds. So let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let go of the power button and keep on holding down the volume down button on other devices, keep on holding down the home button and just keep on holding down and make sure device is plugged in and you will get this message inside iTunes. iTunes has detected that your iPhone is in recovery mode. So click on OK 
and now what you want to do is restore your phone so if check for update doesn't work then that is very unfortunate it might get an error for that small chance happening it did happen with me so again i'm gonna hold on the option key on windows as a shift key so click on restore iphone and click on your ipsw again for ios 10 hit open and hit restore so now it should work 100 percent and I'm just gonna wait for this to finish. All right, so guys, it is done. As you guys can see, we are not greeted by the hello screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my device from my computer, and now it is working. Again, this took about 10 to 15 minutes. It should take about that long. If it takes longer, something is wrong. So again, make sure you back up all your data. But I'm just gonna swipe over. Let me show you guys that I am on iOS 10 now, or press the home button. All right, so I'm not, still not used to that. Let's go select English and go through this real quick. All right, so here we are. And guys, I just realized I lost my jailbreak on this device. It was on 10.1.1. And uh, now I don't have a jailbreak. It's on 10.3.2. So anyway, I'm just going to show you in settings, uh, general, and about, and there it is, 10.3.2. So very cool. Now we're running iOS 10, more stable than iOS 11, of course, right now. But iOS 11 does have all those new features, so it's really what you want. All right, so there you go. You're back on iOS 10. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to smash that like button. Also, be sure to get subscribed for tons more content. I was about to say something, but I forgot. Anyways, peace out.